Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This tutorial is about how I do women of color makeup. So I start with the eyebrows. I'm gonna shape her eyebrows with the Makeup Revolution Brought from Made, and then I'm gonna carve out her eyebrows with this shade Ellie Pro Girl Coffee. And I'm gonna go, gonna first carve out, uh, car, sorry, carve out her uh, eyebrows with this shade, and then on her eyelid, I'm gonna put the Pillowy Space in the shade Rumor, and then blend them together. I'm going to set the base with a fluffier brush without putting any transition powder and I'm going with the um, Pilui Secrets Inner Palette. I'm um, taking the shade Addiction and placing that shade with the small tapered brush um, in her crease area and then blend it with the same brush. I build up uh, the eyeshadow pigmentation first and then blend it later. Now I'm taking uh, Idealize Eyeshadow from the same palette and applying it above the um, Addiction Eyeshadow and blending it like with the uh, small circular motions and making sure that I applied 50% uh, above the eyeshadow, uh, the Addiction Eyeshadow and 50% into it like merging them together. Now I'm going to cut the crease with the Pillowy face and I'm placing my brush on her eyelid and dragging it downward and as I go along I you know judge how far I need to go and I'm creating a oval shape kind of a cut crease. After doing the cut crease, I'm going with the uh, peaches and cream pigment called Mermaid and applying it um, uh, close to the cut crease first and then I'm going to apply the Chunky Glitter from the iconic uh, brand it's called Isa Potion. Isa Potion something, yeah. And then to apply the, um, the, I applied the glitter glue from NYX and uh, I did apply a little bit of lash glue chunky leader and now I'm going to fill out the corners with the same eyeshadow addiction and then I'm taking the liquid uh, liner I got it from a uh, uh, what do you call the marketplace I'm gonna leave the brand name in the description bar it's a very nice liner like the brush is so thin I just loved it so I'm going to apply like um, a straight line and then I'm going to wing out upward I'm creating a, like a flick liner on her. Now I'm gonna apply the foundation. Before applying the foundation, I applied the Clinique uh, moisturizer off camera, and I am using Etsy Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Pecan. And what I'm doing is um, I am uh, applying a, a equal amount of uh, foundation all over her face with the flat brush and with the fluffier brush I'm gonna set the base all over her face next So I applied the Fawn uh, Concealer from LA Propel and applied it um, under her eyes, nose and cupid bow and chin and forehead and then I'm applying um, a darker contour, cream contour uh, from the Anastasia palette, um, I think it's a sh in a shade deep and um, then I'm gonna blend uh, 
cream and the concealer. Uh, I'm gonna blend the concealer by uh, tapping uh, tapping my brush on it rather than rubbing. And uh, once I, you know, um, set the concealer, I go back with my foundation brush, and then I again set it a bit more. So the concealer and the foundation, you know, they blend with each other nicely. Now with the help of tipping brush, I'm gonna blend the cream contour for her and I spray a bit of a matte fix plus on her face so that her cream contour blend easily on her skin. I'm gonna set uh, the cream contour with the, um, the contour powder from Sleek in the shade dark. I'm going to contour her nose and uh, I'm going to set the cream contour with the uh, with the with the contour contouring brush. Now I'm going to bake her under eye area with the Ben Nye uh, banana powder and uh, gonna set her um, chin and nose and forehead area uh, with this powder and only I'm just only baking under her eye area because I think um, under eye area is the area where we need more coverage and more, more mattifying kind of a look because she has, she has the oily skin so I want her T-zone area to be completely mattified Now I'm going to apply MAC Raisin Blusher on her cheek, apple of cheeks. It is one of my favorite blusher, not just for blushing the woman of color, but also now for apply applying on as an eyeshadow. Mamo Mitchell Sub Zero Palette, and I'm mixing two shades together, which is the uh, Body Ori Ori and Lifestyle. I'm gonna first apply with a um, small shader brush, and then blend it with a big fluffy brush. I'm uh, going to apply all over her, you know, high points of her face, which is the bridge of the nose, um, cheekbones, cubicle, chin. Now I'm, uh, I am applying um, Addiction and uh, a fair shade um, in her bottom lash line. Now I am outlining her lips with the Colourpop Lip Liner in the shade Leather. I'm doing an ombre lip and for that I'm using a very light and pinky shade from Colourpop um, with a liquid lipstick in the shade Last Base or something I'm not really sure but I'm gonna put the name in the description bar if you are interested to know so I'm gonna apply this uh, uh, liquid lipstick on in the middle and I'm gonna blend it after So it's the finished look of my Woman of Color client tutorial. She is my real-time client and I'm so thankful to her 
that she allowed me to record this tutorial for you guys and if you like this tutorial don't forget to like and give it a little subscribe to my channel I always post once in a week um, you know, on my channel so hit the bell icon if you want notifications thanks so much bye